Hey, hello guys, GV here back again. Uh, I'm playing a game today called Oddmar. It's a hidden gem on Android, iOS, and Nintendo Switch. And I'm playing it on my Android tablet. It's the Samsung Galaxy Tab 6 Lite. Uh, it's one of those games that you can play with an external controller. You can play on the screen or you can play with a controller. So I'm playing with the PS4 controller, just connected with Bluetooth, and you're good to go. So it gives you a full console experience. So let's dive in. Uh, it's a cool game, <clears throat> regular platform, but I like it because uh, I've been seeing it a lot of times and I just decided to play it. It's good. It's free. The first few worlds, uh, the first world is free, so the world, each world has uh, six stages, so that's free, then after that you have to pay, it's about four pounds, it comes to for the whole game. Uh, I'm just going to play the first stage, so you guys can see what it's like. I love the art style right now, I'm loving the art style, and I like the fact that you start off with a weapon, with a sword, uh, unlike other games where you have to literally buy a weapon or work for a full stage before you get a weapon. This is good. What is this now? I think this, this is the first time I'm playing the game, so I'm trying to get used to the surroundings. I think that's a checkpoint. Yes, it is a checkpoint. And uh, I like the animation. It's really cool. I like the, the, the way he's animated. He's a Viking. Uh, the game is uh, loosely based on Norse mythology, so um, uh, you have Odmar He's trying to save his village. His uh, his fellow, his people have been uh, abducted, and there's all sorts of uh, fairy tales going on here. Uh, so elves, trolls, giants, things like that. But let me see. Uh, it's a good game. Uh, here goes. So all these triangles are similar to coins that you would get. In a regular Mario game or a regular platform where you have to have some form of uh, collecting stuff. Like that's a bad guy, obviously. So that's like a mutant, some mushroom, cyclops. So you can stomp on enemies and you can also use your weapon on them. So let's go. Let's see. Okay, I'm falling down. What am I falling down into? Let's see. Okay, this is a cave. Obviously, oh, I like it. I like that. I'm loving the design. Oh, and there's a bear in hibernating. Okay, Let's see. okay. I think I can push that car, so I'm gonna try and do that. Push it a bit. Yes, I can. Let's get to the high stage. Here comes that mutant mushroom again. I like the fact that uh, when you jump, there are mushrooms that just grow from the floor so it, it gives the impression that the mushrooms actually are the ones that make you jump which is cool I'm loving this you can climb on ropes go down I'm gonna jump to the other side and I have this shield around me this force field which is cool it reminds me of Sonic when, when you collect uh, the bubble shields around you so it's it's safe for one hit but I'm thinking after one hit you get back to regular life so that's fine off again, still really loving the art style, it's colorful, it looks cool, uh, it actually looks like a full console game, this is a game I, I, I see easily on the PS4, being on the PS4 or Xbox One, uh, but it hasn't been released for them as of now, it's on the Nintendo Switch, which is a console, so I'm wondering why they would not want to release this on the PS4 as a full blown game, um, but I like it. So far so good. I'm going to try and get up to get a shield. That's why I'm doing all this. Yeah, shield. Oh, you can never be too safe. Just get a shield just in case you get hit. And then, yeah. Loving the animation. Really good. I'm just going to play the first world, like I said before. Get to the first boss and then I will call it a, a day. So, so far I'm loving it, it's, yeah, I haven't died yet, so <laughs> it's not too tough compared to uh, Cophead that I played a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> that was something else. Okay, yeah. so first level done, so far so good, I 
let's go on to the next level and see what I can do. Okay, so this is Midgard. So like I said, it's loosely based on... Uh, uh, oh, okay, what's this? Okay, I think I, I clicked the wrong button. I'm trying to... Okay, great. Yeah, I'm just going to move to play. I'm just going to move it to play. And here we go, yes. So we have Midgard, which is where the first thing is starting. I'm just going to let you guys hear the narration. redeem himself as a Viking? Perhaps Odmar could become a great warrior just as his friend Fasco was. But is destroying the forest the right thing to do? There was loud commotion in the crowd. Odmar! roared the chief. You dare to bring this cursed magic to our village? This is a new low. Death on the battlefield is too noble a fate for you. Perhaps the Kraken should teach you a lesson at the bottom of the sea. You can't hide from the gods, Odmar! The chief bellowed as Odmar leapt away. The skies turned dark. Thunder struck. Suddenly, the villagers vanished. Odmar was shocked. Who took his people? Was it the gods? Why was he left behind? He had to find out. Okay, let's get to it. So, level two, and Midgard, so let's go. Again, lovely, I'm loving the scenery, the art style is good. Foreground, background, really cool. Let's see, so let's do... See the fishes. Let's see, yep, nice. Good one, yep. Just gonna go. Let's see if there's anything hidden in here. Most of these games usually hide it. If, if you're used to playing games, you you know um, uh, sometimes there are hidden rooms where goodies are kept and hidden, so it's always good to explore. Uh, I'm just gonna go up, try and get something up there to do something for me. Yes, uh, one of the big rings. I need to get boom. I've got one, and each stage has about three. So uh, if we get the three of them, you get points, and then you get uh, you get money, and you can use that money to buy better weapons. So in each uh, specific stage, uh, places on the on each level, there's a guy you can meet. Oh, that's a bad guy. It looks like a it looks like a, a troll or some kind of uh, imp or something. Okay, let's go. Time to proceed. Okay, oh wow. It's like some Indiana Jones stuff. I have to avoid... Oh, crap. That was too slow. Uh, I'm gonna try it again now. Let me just go up and check if there are any goodies I can get. It never, never hurts to get goodies. And I think the graphics makes it really, really fun to play because um, you just can't wait to see what, as you scroll, what other beauties are revealed. So I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, like classic Indiana Jones stuff. I'm gonna escape this, get out of the way. Yeah, good one. I need to get that shield just in case. Yep. How do I get that stuff now? Well, you know what? At this point. Let me just save myself. I can forget about that. Let's go down. And those uh, gears remind me of Meat Boy. Another classic game. Um, a new baddie, a hedgehog. Let's see. I'm just going to use the same weapon. Oops. Got me, but so far so good. Getting the rings. I think those triangle things that I'm calling rings now are actually, it's actually money. So. Uh, it never hurts to get them, so I can use them to buy weapons or buy uh, tools that I can use. Nice. Lovely, I'm loving this. This looks good. Let's 
see that's what I'm talking about. It's just different. I love the different concepts in this. Um, you can see the water flow under, a little variety in the game. Really nice. Those those red stuff are spikes. You don't want to get near them. You have three lives. You can set it up there. My heart. So I'm playing with one now. And I have two extra. So if I get hit three times, I would have to start again. But luckily, there yeah, are checkpoints in this game. So I'm gonna start from a checkpoint. Obviously, I have to cut this. It's supposed to go down. Let's see. Just to go down and then get on it and cut it. Yes. Come on. Oops. Oops. Crud. There should be a way for me to get down without coming coming like this. So let's go. Yep. Loving it. Uh, I think it's uh it takes time to get used to some of these bad guys. Oh like that one now. Those those baddies respawn, so I'm just gonna be careful so I don't fall into the same trap again. Just gonna take care of this guy. There we go. There we go again. Nice. This is good. And it's really, really nice that uh, we have a game like this on mobile. Uh, because one of the problems I've always had with uh, mobile games is that they're not really the playability. It's not. It's not really been good. Um, and then there have just been a lot of compromises in terms of graphics and gameplay. It's all about making a quick buck. But this is this 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 looks like a normal console game. that will be on a console in terms of the graphics. And one of the things I did was to hook it up with my big screen TV. Uh, that's to cast it on a big screen TV and it, it was it looked really good. It looked like a regular console game Albeit 2D, but it was good. The only issues I had were lag on the controls So uh, and that was because of my Wi-Fi, but if you have pretty good decent connection, it should work fine Now I'm supposed to bounce on this stuff. How do I bounce and get a higher hmm. Do this. I'm sure there's a button for me to use, but I don't know what the button is now. I'm just gonna try all the buttons. That's the thing. Um, let me try again. Go, go, go forward. Let me go forward. Mm. 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 I'm just pressing the regular job, but it's not doing anything. Obviously, there's something I need to be doing. Uh, oops, almost got it there. Try again. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna get it. Nope, that's not it. Mm. Where is it? What is it? Mm. Come on. time here. The funny thing about this is once you discover it, it now makes you look very funny. You feel very very stupid because it's, 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 I'm sure it's pretty easy to do this but I'm still trying to find the right button to do it. Um, okay, okay. I found the button. Oh finally found the button so I'm gonna do it now. So that's it. I found the button now, so let's go. Boom. Oh, I see. Wasn't that hard. Boom. Okay. So there's another extra button you press for the for the those kind of jumps. Far from the regular button, so that's what I'm gonna be using anytime I see stuff like that. Okay, let's do it. Boom. Booyah. You guys are going down. Boom. Nice. Just gonna bounce on these guys. Yep. Checkpoints. Bounce on these dudes. Oops. I thought there was a platform down there, but I was wrong, so 
Just gonna go regularly. Let's do it. Yep. Let's go. This is nice. Get used to that button, come on. Now. Have to get used to it. So I'm gonna do that. Bounce there, bounce there again. Bounce there again. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, nice. That's how you do it. That's how we roll. I'm gonna swing from there. Let's see what we do. Well, he's gonna go with an arrow at this point. Nice. I'm loving the variety in this game now. Right now, it's really good. You, do, you don't get too bored because of the change in the stages. So, let's go. I can't wait to see what the boss is like, what the first boss would be like. Go. We do now. Gonna have to look for a way to get there. I don't want to die here. Let's bounce. Let's go there. Yep. There you go. Okay. Obviously, I'm supposed to go there, so let's go check that guy out. Who is he? Ugh. Oops. Okay. I think he gave me like a couple days. Like, a, a, okay. This is a, I think this is a mini stage in the in, in the in the game. So let's see. I have to avoid this guy's chasing me. So let's go time. Come on. Nice. Nice, so far so good. Don't want to let them get me. Can I make it a first time out? I should be able to. Oh, God. Ugh. I'll try it again. This reminds me of Aladdin. The whole ambiance um, and the guy in the background. Nice. Again, I'm loving the art style. And I am loving the, uh, the stage design. Really nice. Mm, oops, please. Yes, I made it this time. Come on, don't rush. One of the things I've noticed is that when you're playing games like this, you don't have to rush. Because once you get nervous, you will make mistakes. Just play safe and, oh, finally, we're past it. Back to the real world, okay. Okay, so I've earned a coin. Let's go. Oh, yes. Do I go get that? Uh, nice. Well, chance for that at this point. I'm gonna have to. Yep. Okay. Come on out! Oh man. There we go. There we go. Done. Done. Let's do it. Do it. Show them at the end of this level. Yes. Yeah. Level three done. Three more to go. Let's do it. So on to level four. Let's make it. Let's make it happen. Okay. Okay. Stage change again. See what we can do. There's nothing here for me, okay. Am I supposed to do anything here? Nope, okay. There's 
nothing there. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead. He's gonna forge ahead at this point. Okay. Nice. Get that shield. Do your thing. Let's go. Okay. Let me see. What am I supposed to do here? Okay. I can buy a weapon. What do I need to buy? How much do I have? Okay, I have 543 points. Um, I think I should buy a shield. Yep, buy a shield. So I've gotten a shield, which is good. Let's bounce. Just go ahead at this point. I don't want to buy anything. I don't have any money anyway. So let's go. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. So these guys look like alligator. Oh, look like alligators. Just gonna have to time time when they open up their mouths. Okay, go, 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 yes! Done that. Should be able to get that. Yeah. This is just great. Oh well, you know what? Might as well just forsake that and just forge your head. Let's go, 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 go. Almost got it there. Almost. Yes. Oh, finally. Let's go. Meet this purple haze guy again. Okay. In the land of hallucinations. I just love this stage. It is, it's just it's just fun. Uh, okay. Just have to avoid the platforms coming down on me at this point. All you have to do have to think fast. Okay. I love the soundtrack too. Really cool. Oops. Oh man. Oops. You have to. Come on, okay. Swing and go ahead. Yes. Made it. That is it. Oh, this one's easy. Ooh. Done. Give me that coin. Give me the purple coin. Boom. Let's go. Let's go for other things now. Nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, please. Ugh. Okay, the shield at least. This should stop. Oh, man. I have to go before the next wave comes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank God for these checkpoints. So you don't have to start all the way from the beginning. It would just be too frustrating, man. Right? To be honest. So, yeah. All in all, okay, so you have these bees now, new character, new body is introduced. Bees with these things. Have to oh man, this morning. So this guy, just forget about this guy, this man. Oops! Oh crud. Okay. So he has the midboy element to this. Let's start with the gears. Gonna get on the platform, get on the lever. Good. Okay, this guy is just hiding in the shadows. I have a feeling he's gonna be the boss that I will meet eventually. Um, let's see. He's gonna go up there. Oh, yep. Yay, found the second one. It'd be great to get the third one, but 
I know they'll hide it somewhere that's tough to locate. Well, so far so good. Getting out of this maze. There we go. Is there anyone here? Nope. Let's do it. Oh, crud. Ouch! Oh, it hurts. Okay. Let's break through that and go. Just have to be careful with this. Oh, jeez. Man. Yeah, I was saying it was easy. It's not that easy. Uh, just have to jump. And forward. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay. There you go. This guy's gonna tell me to mince meat. I'm not gonna let that happen. Just have to time. Oh, so. Go. I'm gonna get past this now. Jeez. I have to go for it. That's it. Yep. Let's do it. Almost there. Okay. This is gonna be a tough one. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Man. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. I just have to be careful. This first one comes. I'll just jump to the next one. Pull it off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Jeez. Okay. Try it again. Just gonna. Yes. Let's do it. Just slide. Jump to the other side. Activate those ones. Just stay on the wall. I'm just gonna stay on the wall. Jump to the next side and yes. Ooh. Jeez, finally. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yay. Level four done. Two more levels to go. Let's get it. Let's go get it. Nice, nice, nice. So, level 5, let's go! Ardmar wasn't used to days like this. What was he even fighting for? If he somehow retrieved his villagers, would the chief still cast him out? Maybe, if he could capture the one responsible. Perhaps they'd forgive him for his life of cowardice. Goblin! shouted Ardmar. Why are you watching me? Okay, so that guy's the goblin. They get out been watching me the, the last two stages. Away. Let's go get this guy. Turned to a wild boar. Please, noble beast, pleaded Ardmar. Help me catch that monster. I have a feeling I'm going to use the boar. I have a feeling I'm going to use the boar. So let's see how this plays out. Ah, true to form. Okay, sweet. See, so all the elements of a classic platform are here. So like, this reminds me of a Yoshi. This is really cool. Oh wow. This is cool. I like this. It's just ramming your way through. Ah, sweet. I love it. It's just ramming your way through. Let's go. Nice. I love it. Nice. I just feel, uh, well, if you have an option of getting him and buying him, but I doubt that. So it's just stay specific to use him. But so far, it's good. I love it. I love it. I love that you can just ram, ram bodies head on. And it's actually, it's really cool. Let's go. Uh, um, have to be careful. Oh, so jeez. Let's see. I hope I still have him when I. Oh, I still have him. Good. So this is good. Unlike uh, some other platform games, once you die with the the animal, the animal is gone. You have to go look for a way to get him again. But this apparently looks like you're gonna have him throughout the stage, which is a good thing. Jump, slam it in. Oops, am I gonna go down? Yes, I am. Okay, let's see what's more about this. Yeah, let's go. Okay, yeah. 
It's like piranha plants are a staple in all platform games. A couple of weeks back I was playing um, a Cophead and you had these piranha plants there. It's like it's like they're uh, baddie, they're like in a shelf for baddie templates. So if you're making a platform game, you just wish <laughs> on a template and say baddie number five, piranhas, you just add them on. So yeah, they are again. Let's go get them. Get past this place. So all this is just timing. You just have to time them. Thank God they're not very uh, procedurally generated. It would have been it would be a mess. Then you you wouldn't be able to predict how or where they would appear. But fortunately for me, I can wait. Ah, oh, jeez, I can wait and see the pattern and then advantage of it let's go boom yep nice okay sweet have to be careful to make sure i am still gonna be on that platform sweet sweet oh nice i am loving this game with each stage that passes i'm loving this game more it's really, really cool definitely what what my while definitely what my while okay Odmar had found a great friend in the boar. Even though they'd lost track of the goblin, the boar had given him more help than anyone in recent years. Just as Odmar bid his new friend farewell, suddenly the fairy from his dream appeared. Okay. I didn't grant these powers you could And I like the, co the, the cutscenes. Uh, but for me, I feel uh, this is one of the few games where the actual gameplay is better than the cutscenes. <laughs> Most times it's the other way around, so uh, for the cutscenes, they just opted for limited animation, limited 2D animation, like if you remember those 60s cartoons, that's what, what they're going for here in terms of the animation. But the gameplay is really cool. So it's time for me to get to the boss. Uh, yes, I'm going to fight the boss now. That's 6, level 6, and world 1, which is Midgar. So let's go. Let's go get this dude. Let's go get this dude, man. A troll. And it was right in Odmar's path. He needed to pass it in order to enter the forest. This is the first boss. Odmar was careful not to wake the troll. But it was too late. You dare set foot in my forest? So this is a troll. I Let me see how I'm gonna deal with this dude. Oh, this is a dream. Go back to sleep. Admar urged. A dream? Replied the troll. No. Oh no. For you, it shall be a nightmare. You shall pay for what your kind has done to our home. Okay. Let's go. So let me see what I can do with this first boss of Midgard. Let's go. Okay, there is the dude, man. This, this guy has nose for days. Man, okay. I'm just gonna try and outrun because what happens normally is this kind of games you have you have to be ahead of the boss and then he yeah he throws he throws a blow. You have to avoid the radius of his blow or his attack. Just try to get out of range. And then you're also trying to stay on a platform and survive. And beat him has the screen scrolls on its own so if you if you get trapped at the back of the screen well you're on your own and there's no platform for you so i am just gonna use that experience i've had from old games let's see stay back come on yep so far so good checkpoints great let's go oh boy you have to be fast oh crud let's do it all right loving the soundtrack as usual Come on, man! Are you, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, let's go again. Let's go, let's go. Just gonna jump. Oops. Come on. And um, the only thing that I would say they should have added would have been a, a button to make you run faster. But yeah, you can't run faster, so you have to. 
adjust yourself to the speed. Uh, yep, nice. Yeah, swing from this. Come on. Just swing again. I just don't want this guy to be ahead of me too much. And at the same time, I don't want to be ahead of him too much. So I uh, I don't fall into a trap. Because the pla Since you can't see ahead of you that far, you don't know which platforms are, are on. Okay, come on. Nice. Really lovely design. I love the design. Just gonna go. Yep. So far, so good. Avoid those spikes. That's what I'm trying to do at the same time. Make sure there's a platforming view for me to jump to, which is. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Made it. Ha ha ha. So. I made it, uh, so that's the whole of uh, World 1 done. Oh wow, this is Alfrim. Alfrim, okay. It's another realm I have to play. Uh, like I said, you have to unlock all the stages. I'm gonna unlock it and play and get back to you guys. Thanks again for watching. You wanna check this hidden gem out. It's on the Apple Play Store. It's on the uh, Google Play Store and it's on the uh, Switch Nintendo Store. Get it, check it out for free. First world is for free. So until next time, it's GVE signing out. Enjoy.